Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Uh, for some reason my audio track's being weird, but I do have the number set right. Last time we arrived in this wonderful place as we are sent to track down metal. Yeah. Hello, mine peon. Basically just peon means grunts worker, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Into the mines we go! RMP officers. Yeah. Everyone knows Elisa. That's nice to see. Elisa's a very kind person. Working in a mine. Yeah, Angelica's a bit strange. I like her just fine. She's a likable character. She's just a little strange. Uh. I wonder what the RMP's up to. Yeah, we're here for a piece of bit of metal. Okay, into the mine shaft. One dungeon right after another. I really should not be recording right now. I mean, I have way too many videos on backlog, and yet here I am recording because I want to know what happens in the story. Yeah, they're tunnels. Let's get to it. Once again, it's pretty linear. I don't even have to go in very far. Oh, it's a treasure chest! <laughs> Let me be clear, I don't think linear level design my is turn. inherently a bad thing. Oh my god, my headset really friggin' loud. Let's turn that down. I mean, seriously. Second form. Damn. For a while, everyone's all, this game is terrible because it's too linear. Now, no one really cares so long as okay. the story's good. And I'd say this game has a pretty good... Oh my god, D. Really? I can do this. Seriously, why would you miss at a time like that? Now I gotta heal you. You okay? Thanks. Thank you, Elliot. Here we go. I can do this. Uh, I can't have enough blessed arrow. Huh? I want to take advantage of Elliot's crit. My turn. I'll handle it. Yeah. 
Wow, that's <sighs> annoying. Okay. Die already! Jesus. Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired and I got a bit of a headache. That was in the treasure chest. I'm not even going to attempt to read that right now. Bat, 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 bat. You know what these are. Let me look at my links real quick. Got a level 4 link with Elisa. We'll get a rush to. I can't alternate between current links. That's interesting. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Auto tear, that's just a good one for you to have. Cheer. Hmm. That's cool. Mushroom monster? Be careful, this one. I'll handle it. Okay, I was not expecting this. Now. I'll get you up. My turn. You are very low on energy points, huh? so you just use that on yourself. Go! Alright, let's do this! Yeah. Leave it to me! Right! Go for a flash grenade on the big thing. My turn. Zero art here. Huh. Let's use it. Huh. My turn. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the bullet cyclone. One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I'll pick you up. Here we go. That was cool. Let's go for the S break. Flames, gamble on my plate. Dead. Okay, it's safe for now. Two levels from that. I did it! Green <laughs> I did and it! Lisa. And I found the metal. Hmm. 
and there's nothing else here. Okay. Let's report back. It's a long walk back. You material. Those are always handy. Good lord, I got a long walk back. A very long walk back. I can't just quick travel. Oh, that'd be too simple. No one wants to give me a lift, nothing like that. Just walk all the way back. Yeah, thanks guys. You're, you're a wonderful audience, let me tell you. A dangerous foe. Stay on guard. Yeah, I don't plan on killing it. Switch up the parte just a little bit. Fuck you, bird. Nope. Is there an unopened treasure chest over here? There is an unopened treasure chest. Tiro <laughs> bomb. Useful, but not that useful. I'll take it. I mean, it's something. Technology. Hmm. Yeah, I found your metal, buddy, here. What's well, a lot of you material? The RMP. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, okay, there it goes. Another way down. What, like the elevator? Yeah, they're squaring off. Ooh, 
reversing order in Ruhr is the duty of the Nortia Provincial Army. Our duty. We've had quite enough outsiders like yourselves swaggering into town as though you own the place. If I may, we're currently here on a mission for which we have full authority. Besides, the expansion of the railway has increased the flow of money, information, and people across the country. These days, it takes a modern organization to maintain order in the intercorruption in the intercorrupted world. That organization is the RMP. So why don't you take your sashes and your pointy helmets and kindly keep out of our way? You son of a Sir, I can't let insolence like this tarnish our good name. No, no, let's not be too hasty. The ma there may, they may answer to the Chancellor, but with only this many of them, they're nothing more than a mob in uniform. Good lord, are you trying to spark a civil war? Because this is how you spark a civil war. Is that necessary? Are you insane? You can't just roll military vehicles into the middle of a city. Ah, oh, but I did. On the contrary, arms exist as tools to defend one's territory, one's country. That's that's true. And I'm still saying this. Storing ammunition on the outside of a tank is fucking stupid. Look at that. That is stupid. Had we been the ones fighting the terrorists, I assure you, we would not have been outsmarted. Uh, aren't you proud of yourself? Citizens of Ruhr! You have nothing to fear, except a dick hole in an orange uniform with a tank. In these dangerous times, with terrorists running rampant, the Nortia Provincial Army is here to defend you from harm. And defend you we shall! These glorified beat cops are out of their depth. They know nothing of this community. I suggest you don't place too much trust in them. What a blowhard. It's like he's spoiling for a fight. He's really selling to the populace. You can't just drive armored cars into the streets. What do we do? They're both officially recognized military organizations. There isn't much we can do. But if for some reason things turn ugly, let's do everything we can to get nearby residents to safety. You're quite correct, of course. Both the provincial Claire? army and the railway military police have their own roles to fill, each important to the Empire. Oh, hey, isn't that Captain Claire, the Icy Maiden? I didn't know you'd arrived. I'll take things from here. Yes, Captain. Yes, ma'am. So that's her, eh? The, fan the infamous Icy Maiden. Good day to you, officer. I believe the Imperial Government notified you two days ago that we'd be conducting patrols and investigations in the area. Has that really caused such inconvenience that you felt compelled to bring an armored car within the city limits? Well... And frankly, I can't bring myself to agree with your assertion that we're out of depth here. The railway is a network that crosses the entire empower, empower, empire, allowing us to dispatch forces anywhere at a moment's notice. We also gather divisions scattered across the country in one place in a matter of hours. In fact, we pride ourselves on it. It's our distinguishing feature as a division of armed forces. Really? I do keep seeing them pop up in the Imperial Chronicle. Looks like Claire showed up at the perfect time. 
as quick-witted as ever. Now that's a classy lady for you. Ugh. I have no quarrel with you, no reason to argue. We have enough on our plate with the terrorists. But we've got a job to do, and so do you. Ultimately, our continent, our commitment, is to the people of this nation. I'm sure you feel the same, no? A query for you then. How would you respond if a crisis were to occur in multiple places at the same time? Rufus? In the Celtic Provincial Army... Lord Rufus, we didn't know you were already in a rumor. Are you leaving already? Indeed I am. His lordship asked me to extend my stay, but I'm afraid I have business to attend elsewhere. I'll be heading out in short order. So that's Duke Alvarez's eldest son. The noble faction biggest up and comer. He should dress as the part. Ah. Captain Claire Revelt, I presume? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you. It's an honor, Lord Alborea. Please, no need for formalities between us. Rufus is fine. Still, you seem puzzled as to what I'm doing in Ruhr. Yeah, you and me, you and her and me both. Or to be more specific, how I got here. Do I assume correctly? Well, her and I, anyway. The country's railways are completely under your control. Had I taken a train, you would have known it. And yet, there are no signs I passed through Ruhr Airport, either. The truth is more mundane than fantastic. I arrived aboard the Alborea family's private airship, which currently sits just off a highway on the outskirts of the city, awaiting my return. I... Blind spots are an unavoidable reality. We all have them. As on the ball as you are, you do well not to overestimate your own superiority. After all, the hardest falls are the ones we don't see coming. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now, isn't it time both sides withdrew and remove those unsightly vehicles from the streets at once? A provincial army must conduct itself with valor and grace at all times. Would you not agree? Precisely, my lord. Withdraw, armored crew, stand down. Yes, my lord. Fortune finds us face to face once again. So it seems. Thank you for defusing that situation the other day. You needn't be so formal. I was just in town to speak with the Marquess on behalf of my father. Ah, uh, I imagine you two must have had a lot to talk about. <laughs> Indeed we did. And the Marquess never m makes it on easy time. I took advantage of all the excitement surrounding the courageous maiden voyage to take my little trip unnoticed. Given the current climate, it's impossible to predict that what may happen both here and in Ordis. We have three days, you have three days of your field study remaining. I suggest you focus on your assigned tasks and stay out of trouble. I'm looking forward to seeing what Class 7 has to show for the Academy's Festival, after all. Yeah, he would know how many days we have left. He is the, on the board of directors. Whew. And you and met Eusis, and you think you've seen the nobility's golden boy, then you met Rufus. And you meet Rufus, excuse me. I'm actually kind of impressed. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus isn't fond of nobles, but he admits, he's willing to admit his, that Rufus is a decent guy.
Let's go. On the penthouse suite in Flores 24 and 5? Yes. That's my family's home, more or less. Man, I can't believe your family has the top two floors of a world-class high-rise all to itself. Doesn't really surprise me. Yeah. Even high-ranking nobles would trip over themselves to secure a luxury suite like this. I was afraid you guys would react exactly like you just did. That's why I just kept my mouth shut. Well, it is a little off-putting. Sure, it's large, but it's so pointlessly large for just two people. And the only servant we have is Sharon. If you have Sharon, that's the only maid you need, even for a place this big. I agree with Fee. <laughs> you said it. Well, we'll be guests here for the next three days. So, thanks for having us, Elisa. Well, of course. Don't mention it. No, oh, she's blushing. My, my, my. Is it just me, or do I detect more than a hint of red on Lady Elisa's fair visage? Could she be... embarrassed? Uh, I am not! We're here on a field study, so could we at least try to take this a little more seriously? I'm not gonna make a comment, but shippers, green Elisa, get on it. I'll lighten up, Machias. It just wouldn't be a proper field study without one of us getting embarrassed about our family. Yeah, no shit. everyone feels nice to be back I'll just ignore how you popped up to greet us the moment we walked through the door <laughs> I just couldn't wait to see you now if you'll just follow me I'll show you inside It's nice. Oh. Well, I'm impressed. This is even more grandiose than I'd expected. You can see the whole town out there below. Talk about the lap of luxury. Looks like a comfy place to take a nap. You guys really think so? I've been away from Rua for half a year, so I guess it does feel kind of nice to be home. <laughs> I guess that's natural. I've already finished preparing dinner. Please, let me know whenever you're ready to eat. Thank you. I don't know about all of you, but I'm pretty hungry. What do you say we... Wait, actually we can't, can we? Mother said she'd be eating with us tonight, so we need to wait until she comes home. And there are quite a few things we need to ask her, too. Well, actually, my lady, I'm afraid I received a call from the chairman earlier about that. Of course. What? Getting more into Elisa's little story here.
Wow, that's quite a spread. Uh, Lisa, if you wolf down so much food so quickly... You'll get fat. <laughs> ah! You'll get sick. It's just this once! I eat a balanced diet the rest of the time. But you've been bolting down every course so quickly, I'm surprised you haven't inhaled your napkin. Maybe we're gonna need to rethink your stage outfit for the concert. Crap. I almost forgot about that. If you're worrying about us, you don't need to, you know? I know your mother promised she'd have dinner with us, but we all know she's a busy woman. And she said she'd try to make some time for us tomorrow instead. But still... It's not that it bothers me so much, but she sits on Thor's board of directors. Who's she meeting with that's so important she can't even clear a little time to see us? She wants to see her mother. She got off the Lusitania already, didn't she? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. She's not out on a date with a gentleman or engaging in any lascivious behavior, if that puts your mind at ease. Lascivious? I'm guessing that's kind of like scandalous. <sighs> that's not what I'm worried about. Not even close. Honestly, hearing she was seeing a man might even put my mind at ease. Alisa? Lisa. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trail of Cold Steel as I continue to do more work in Ruler. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.